Hey, welcome ladies and gentlemen, how you guys doing? So this is the part two, so hopefully you stay tuned. Um, I finally figured out how to take this bloody thing apart, finally. Nowhere online shows you how to take the entire mechanical part, um, you know, away from the chassis. Um, I am not going to show you the process on how to take it off from its uh, body, but we're working actually on HDI. Um, there you go, this little model, model here we're gonna be working on. HDI, 20 external, 1.4 megabyte floppy disk drive. So the process of taking this entire uh, body off it, uh, you can actually have a look at uh, my previous videos. Uh, this video is actually to um, take this entire thing apart. Because I've, last night, I just like literally, I wouldn't go to sleep until I figured out how to take it apart. And I just had to go and think outside the box because I rebuilt so many of those like 400k, 800k and a 1.44 and I thought basically it was just like sliding the things over and it wouldn't move at all until I found these little guys here and I figured it has to be coming, you know, upward. So to be able to take this apart, you will quickly notice, so hopefully this is not going to be too much in the way, but... All you have to do is push these guys, these little tabs here, it's barely noticeable, but you can, they look like a tiny little hook, like this, and that little piece, the mechanic, uh, mechanical part of it, the top part of it, sits, sits in there. So all you have to do, obviously you have to remove the spring, so which we'll do. I got small fingers, so we can easily just do it. We don't need the uh, tweezer for that. So all you have to do on both sides, it doesn't matter which side you want to do it. If you want to do it on this side, it's fine. If you want to do it on this side, it's fine too. But all you have to do, if you got small fingers, it's a big bonus. All you have to do is squeeze these little guys. You've got a tiny little tabs where you might probably see here. But I'm going to show you with a blue little thingy there. All you have to do is push these guys outward you just barely have enough room in between the chassis here and this to move it see it let's do another angle here for you guys that's that's all you have to do is push these little guys outward and then obviously one up and the second one is out And you can easily just move the other guy around too. Oh, okay, sorry, that's my other GoPro. And that's it. Just make sure you don't actually flip this guy way too high up. So what you have to do is push those little tabs and this part comes right off. Uh, don't lose these little guys. Those are little guide pins that goes up and down as you insert the disc. Now as for this guy, we have a bit of a problem because we got these little pins here that sticks out. And in order to actually um, pull these guys out, the entire mechanical part here, the eject, is this, this little piece here. This guy, if it's not pushed out of the way, it will lock the entire mechanical part of it. So you gotta make sure that you can actually just, as you can see, So all you have to do is pull this guy straight out, just like if you're inserting the disc. But first we'll remove the spring. Remove the spring out of the way. And just like if you were inserting a disc, slide it outward, just like if it was going to eject. And voila. That's all there is to it. So and then after this you can easily just remove the rest of the component. This guy's still good, but everything else you can just easily remove. You can easily get access to the uh, four little Phillips screws to remove the board at the bottom here. And you can easily just get access to the, uh, the guide pin, lube it. So you got this little guy that you can remove first. And then this guy. And that's all there is to it. Pretty easy, isn't it? And of course, needless to say that putting it back together is the reversal of taking it apart. 
actually. Not really, because I forgot to put this guy in there. Aha. So let's put on a full eject. This guy in there. Hopefully you can see. Let's put it back in there. Take this tweezer and put this spring. Oops. In there, even with my small little fingers, doesn't do the trick. Good. There you be. Same goes with this guy. So this is the broken piece I was talking about because this guy actually extends all the way up here. And you can see that little broken piece here. So that's the reason why that, uh, that drive wouldn't actually open the door. So that's the reason why it wouldn't work. So now we're just going to have to lift the head a little bit. And this time we might need a bit of a push. And voila, that's all there is to it. And we'll put the spring back in there. Oops. So that's one. Oops. And this is two. And we know this guy is spooched, but let's have a quick look at it, see if it's working. And voila. Done. So that's all there is to it, folks. So hopefully this has been entertaining, and then um, we'll go from there. Have fun.